compression is a great tool to have when you say have an inexperienced person at the lectern who goes from speaking very quietly to being very loud or they stand too far from the mic and then they move in very close to the mic that level of dynamics and loudness change can be harsh through a PA so compression is a great way of uh, dealing with those uh, discrepancies in volume. So I've got spoken word on my laptop here for the sake of our demo here. And so now what I have, if you look up here, you can see that uh, I've got input coming to the strip. And on this graph here, you see a little blue dot sort of bouncing up and down. That's the same representation as this input here, but it's placing it on the graph. Now, if you look over here, I've got a threshold. So what I'm gonna do is I can take this threshold and start dialing it to the left. And as I dial it to the left, you can see on this graph, you've got this representation of dynamics. Now what you see is that red light is just jumping in there. Now typically red lights on consoles mean you're clipping or you're overloading something. In this case, that's not what's going on. That is simply telling you that your threshold has been met and the, uh, the compressor is actually kicking in and doing its job. Now if you look here, we have what's called a ratio. And this compression ratio currently is set to three to one. It's a very reasonable ratio. What it means is for every three dB your speaker goes up in volume, the actual PA will only produce one, increase, one dB in increased volume. So therefore, it compresses how loud they can get. It holds it back. Now, if I take this compression ratio and make it seven to one, what's happening here is as that threshold's met, any volume that goes beyond the threshold, seven dB in gain will only go up one dB in the PA. Typically, three to one's a great, uh, great point to be at have your threshold just touching it, and if they get really loud, it'll hold it back. You can then go on to uh, you know, any microphone, because that is only affecting currently the laptop, but you can then go on to your, any one of your microphone strips here and apply the same thing. Just a little bit of compression, adjust your threshold, and away you go. The other thing that you can do is sometimes you end up with, uh, sometimes I'll want to do a global adjust, so that, compression option is available right here on your master strip. So if I uh, go to my compression, it's not enabled, but I can enable it here. Everything I just told you can now be applied to the entire main mix. So I can take this and lock it down. And there's some situations where you might have five people speaking, six people speaking, and you know you want to get a hold of it very quickly. You can do it on your master as compared to your uh, individual inputs.